Okay, so and what we're going to do now, right now, is that I got this great idea, this genius idea. Well, actually, I got it from Bernie Sanders. You know, crazy Bernie Sanders. Okay, I call him crazy Bernie. Okay, because he's a socialist guy who think that everything should be socialism. Okay, and um, I've seen Bernie. He's totally deranged. He's like some kind of disheveled guy with a rolled up newspaper wearing a bathrobe standing outside of a, a deli um, uh, or something, wearing Crocs, wagging his finger at you, okay, and scowling, okay, very nasty, if you can just picture Bernie in that way, because he's always so mad at you, what's he so mad about, okay, I don't get it, he just has a bunch of crazy, deranged, sick ideas floating around in that demented old head of his, like, like you know, people should, should be able to, I don't know, to eat or something. You know, it's like you're just walking along on a street in New York, minding your own business, okay? But you have to pass by this deli where this old guy is wagging his finger at you and going, yo, all the time, you know, scowling at you, waving his fist, okay, uh, at you, okay? Just scowling at you with that mean scowl he has, okay? Maybe with like, if you can picture Bernie like this, scowling and waving his like he's got like a small, gross, disgusting fleck of like egg salad or something like that on his moist and hideously contorted lower lip. Okay. And no way you say that big guy said, I mean, that Doris, hey, and he's like, he's too insane to even realize he's got this fleck of egg salad on his lower lip. My God, it's probably been on his lower lip for something like two weeks. Okay. And he doesn't even realize it. Okay. And he's just standing there in front of the deli okay that you need to walk by in order to get to your home okay to get to your job but you have to walk by this insane guy in his torn filthy bathrobe with a rolled up copy of the washington post under his arm that he's probably had since 1969 for some crazy reason or another that he has okay going yo okay okay like he's like he's the final shot in that that invasion of the body snatchers movie you know going yo so totally insane that's bernie um he's just this crazy old kook this old fart with a bunch of totally insane completely unworkable not winning not bigly not strong not good ideas floating around in his demented old head like like i don't know like people should i don't know be able to live indoors or something totally insane not good not bigly not strong weak and not the mag away so anyways but bernie did have one good idea as it turns out i guess they say a stop clock is right at least once a day i think that i hear that uh somewhere and bernie did have this one idea that i liked and and people might think i i stole his idea but i i didn't really steal it what i did was i took his phrase he was saying in his campaign, you know, um, Bernie or bust, you know, they were saying Bernie or bust, they were saying in his campaign. And when I first heard this phrase, I thought, okay, well, then they're just threatening violence, aren't they? They're saying that unless they get Bernie for president, that they're just going to, to bust. They're going to bust out of the prisons. They're going to sabotage dams like Hoover Dam. They're going to bust dams. OK, they're saying that unless they get Bernie for president, that they're just going to to bust, you know, they're going to bust into people's homes, their very homes. And then I don't know what they're going to do once they get into the home. Are they going to bust a nut on the family dog? These people are sick. They are all totally deranged and sick people. And they're telling you they're saying it right there in that phrase. He was using Bernie or, or bust. Unbelievable. You know, if they don't get their way, are they planning to bust people's heads open on the street? Uh, are they planning to to grab somebody's nine year old daughter off the street? Somebody's nine year old daughter. OK, just walking along the sidewalk, minding her own business, maybe maybe holding a balloon and they're just going to grab her and curb stomp her if they don't get their way. Are they going to bust you? in the jaw if you don't vote for Bernie Sanders. So I filed a complaint 
with the Department of Justice. And this was behind the scenes. It wasn't publicized. And I was trying to warn them that this insane Bernie Sanders was planning to rain hell on everybody if he if he didn't win the office of the president. This guy is a monster. He is a total monster. I was telling them this Bernie Sanders. And they said, no, 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 you don't understand. That's just a phrase that's used in elections. Sometimes politicians say that in slogans in their election campaigns. It's, you know, like someone will say John Smith for president or bust, or they'll have on a bumper sticker. It will say like uh, Mary Jones for governor or bust or some shit like that. It doesn't really make any sense to me. What do you mean bust or bust? or bust, or bust what? That doesn't even make any sense. So what we've done is that we've taken this whole uh, or bust thing and we've transformed it. God, I'm such a genius to have thought of this. This is really gonna go viral. This is gonna win us the campaign. And just wait till you find out what is, is this is gonna be huge. We are having thousands of t-shirts and bumper stickers printed up now with this new ingenious phrase that has never ever before been done in the entire history of politics. We are the first, are you ready? Here it is, ready? In big bold letters, very strong. We're gonna have it say, Donald Trump for president or busted. Isn't that great? Because I am, I am sure to get busted if, if I don't become president.